recently, a return to the gold standard by the United States within the next five years now seems likely because the move would help the nation solve a variety of economic, fiscal, and monetary ills. I know you're into the gold standard, but do you really think that could happen in five years? Absolutely. It could happen sooner than that. But I think the only reason it would happen is because we have a dollar crisis. We have a currency crisis that brings on an even worse financial crisis. And I think that currency crisis is coming soon. It's going to send the dollar plunging, consumer prices and interest rates surging, and we're going to be in a much deeper recession. And the only way to have a real economy or sound economy is to discipline the government to prevent them from deficit spending. And the only way to do that is with a gold standard. How the piece of this, uh, of this whole uh, uh, voodoo conspiracy theory, I guess, is that, or maybe not, I mean, maybe, maybe you would agree with it, um, I'm curious your take on it, is that the Fed played a role in this, that we never should have established a central bank, that we never should have gone off the gold standard, that, uh, you know, the solution to all of our problems in the kind of Ron Paul world is, is just for the government to, to create coins made out of gold, and that's it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's another one of those things that is just amazing that people would be believing that. I mean, uh, look at it this way. Part of, in a way, what's going on, when, when they created the euro, when they created a single currency for Europe without a single government, what they did was to create something that's quite a lot like a gold standard. Think of Europe as being the modern version of the gold standard, where it is these pieces of paper with, with bridges and, and doors on them that are like gold. It's just like, you know, if you're the government of Portugal or the government of Greece, uh, like a country on the gold standard, you can't print currency. It's, uh, it's mm. not under your control. So what we're watching in Europe is basically the replay of the collapse of the gold standard with all of the same disasters happening in Europe that happened to countries that tried to stay on gold in the 1930s. So what would you say specifically to someone who is promoting the gold standard or calling for the abolition of the Fed uh, or, you know, maybe even states to produce their own money? Wow. So, I mean, I've tried, actually, I've even, even debated Ron Paul, which turns out to be hopeless because you're just talking to a wall. Uh, yeah. But the, uh, what you, to, so to a young person who's trying to understand, yes. you need to tell them that this is not about... You, you, think, you think that the people who talk like this are, are on the side of the little guy and against the banks, but they're not. They're actually supporting a, a policy that rich people, uh, that billionaires have always liked. They, the reason that gold standard, that gold bugism survives in, in this modern world is because it's a doctrine that has always been subsidized heavily by billionaires who, who like the idea that nobody can print money and nobody can, can, uh, can inflate away any of their assets, even if infl a little bit of inflation is what it takes to rescue the, the nation from mass unemployment. So it's a scam. Of course, it's a scam. I mean, it, yes. I mean, it's, it, and it's, uh, you know, John Maynard Keynes, again, he called uh, the, the notion of gold in the economy a, a barbarous relic. Yeah. I mean, it, there's, there's lots of problems with our economy, but why should this metal, this not especially useful metal, be the, uh, the, 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 the gold standard of, uh, right, of value? This is, we have an economic problem. It needs to be managed. It needs to be managed through human intelligence, not by appealing to something that may have made sense back in the, in the first century B.C. More with Nobel Prize winning economist Dr. Paul Krugman right after this break.